Hello, today I'm gonna change the tone a little bit and talk about some fun stuff. So uh, even though COVID-19 is still going on, this is the almost end of April now, there's still fun stuff that you can think about. There's still a lot of cool things that you can plan for. And I think that's one thing that I've been hearing, I actually had someone reach out specifically saying, well, we actually have our emergency savings. We actually have good positions that are not at all impacted by the unemployment kind of that we're going to be seeing here in the near future. And I, I get it. There's definitely a, a quite a few people that are still going to be in a good position financially, but also even for anyone that's not in that situation, you will be in that situation in the future. So I think it's fun to think about the, the cool and exciting things that are coming up down the line. And I think that's something that a lot of people right now feel uncomfortable with thinking about sometimes. And it's actually a good thing thinking about cool, fun stuff that's is gonna come afterwards once everything settles down. It's okay to think about buying a house, having a kid, relocating, starting your career. There's things, and when these things occur, it sometimes feels weird like, oh, you shouldn't be celebrating them or shouldn't be happy because of everything going on. That's not the case. It's more of a reason to celebrate these different things. And again, just be excited about the future and all the cool stuff that is still yet to come. So the, the question that I had from my friend is what's, should you do if you actually are in a good place financially and you get things like the stimulus check or you get bonuses and different awards like this throughout your career and you don't actually need the additional money so basically once you get over seventy eighty thousand dollars of income for a household the value that you kind of truly get and the lifestyle changes that are required in order to kind of be happy it just is not required. You can do things and you can spend more money and it's just not going to give you a ton of value and a ton of happiness. And so what happens is you can actually start saving these things for great long-term goals. And it could be something as short and simple as we're excited to go on hopefully a Disney <laughs> vacation once everything settles down and things are safe to travel and move around. Uh, so that's something that we have that we're excited about and kind of saving for those things. But then there's there's other things too. They, they can be crazy. They can be whatever you want. It, for example, save up for a crazy vacation home in the mountains. Like that's awesome. That's something that's exciting to do. And that's important. Whenever you're saving for something fun or exciting, especially even if it's hard to, that you create a separate account so that you can see it grow. And then you just kind of get pumped up like, oh, yep, we're, we're going to put into this account. We're going to keep seeing it grow. And if it's really long-term, you can actually invest it. If it's short-term, like, my family's Disney vacation. Hopefully that's a short-term-ish uh, type goal in the next year or two once things settle down. Uh, but basically, I'm not going to invest that money because uh, we we want to take the vacation that we save for, not whatever the, the market uh, ends up doing in that short-term time period. We don't want to take half a vacation because all of a sudden half the value is gone and we don't necessarily need to take a, a mega, mega vacation if the market ends up doing well during that time period. So that's the reason why it's smart to not only just be diversified, but think about your time horizon for these goals and whether it even makes sense to invest in something as aggressive as the, the stock market. Be be excited. There's a lot of cool things to look forward to. I think now is a good time to talk through those things. And it's not something that you necessarily have to post on social media all the time and things like that, but it's things that you can be discussing with your partner discuss them with your friends and family that if there's something that you're truly pumped about i'm sure they'll be pumped about it too even though covid 19 is going on there's still a lot of cool things not only going on now some things that we can look at at our lives today and say oh that's that's awesome my kids are constantly doing new new things fun things just being goofy and so that's definitely something that's very easy to see like yep things are still good for the most part and same thing goes for the future. The future is scary, a lot of question marks, but at the end of the day, you can control a lot of things, especially financially. And if you are watching this and you're not in a position where you're able to kind of save for some of those uh, crazy type goals, it's, it's only a matter of time before you get there. You have to kind of go through the process, go through these first steps first. I think that's one thing that I've seen happen a lot. That's why I started Level Financial Plan. It's very easy to make the wrong move because you just want everything right now. You want to try to force things to happen that maybe are not necessarily the, the best timeline to make these things happen. Those are financial missteps because you're trying to force it without actually doing the work and understanding some of these things are long-term goals for a reason. Once you actually get there though, they're 
super rewarding. The, the things that you work the hardest for and that take a little bit more time, those are the things that you look back on. And you're like, this is, this is pretty sweet that we, we have this house or we're able to take this special trip or we're able to do something for loved ones. Just the, the long-term aspect of thinking about it, planning for it, and making some sacrifices, some short-term sacrifices to make something happen. It just makes it that much more rewarding once you get there. So same thing goes, uh, whether you're on the scale of just starting to build up and save and trying to get that emergency savings, all these things add up where over time, you're going to be able to think about, we got all of our bases covered. Now, what's that cool, exciting next things that we can start pouring our money into and really have it work for us, really do it in a way where the things are going to add value because like I said, once your income goes above a certain threshold, anything above that, you're just spending money to to kind of get smaller type value out of things. So you really want to be intentional because it's very easy to just waste those funds and use them for very short term value pops where if you're saving for long term goals, it, it usually those end up being a lot bigger value. They're usually longer term investments too. Thinking about exciting stuff and planning for it is something that's important to do at these types of times. And I definitely encourage it and reach out if you ever want to talk with me about what you have planned and kind of what's going in. I can see if I can add value as far as giving you the confidence and giving you that clear direction. Like if we do these things, not only do we have your bases covered, but then you can do some of these fun and exciting things as well.